this is Jamie. Today I'm going to make some nachos with peppers. Um, sorry about the view. I know it's not the best. It kind of cuts my head off. I got it on the tripod, but with the way that my kitchen is set up, there's not too many angles in which I can do this. So I'm getting ready to ground up some beef and I'm going to prepare the nachos. I'm going to put some Kite Hill cream cheese on it because I don't eat dairy. And um, we're going to see how this works. So I got my meat from Sam's Club. I prefer Costco meat. and um, But it's all the same wherever you get it from. Just get something that you like and that you enjoy. Um, I have oil in my pan to help it not stick. I'm just going to crumble it up. This is going to cook for a while and we'll go from there. While that is browning, what I'm going to do with the other half of the meat is I'm actually going to make meatballs. That way when the meat is done, I can actually just make the meatballs and I can stick them in the freezer or I can stick them in the crock pot for the boys for later. Now, I don't really measure what I put in stuff. I just kind of grab and go. So that was pepper. This is garlic. I love garlic. You can never have too much garlic in my opinion. Um, this is ginger. You can always add more stuff to it. Whatever you like um, for your seasoning. That's not Megan. This is going to be paprika. Um, I don't use a lot of fillers or anything like that, and I kind of avoid salt. I just mix them up a little bit to get the seasonings throughout. Um, once the meatballs are done, I put them in the pan. I just brown them. I don't cook them all the way through. That way they can cook all day if they need to in the um, crock pot when I put them in. Um, I make my meatballs about this size, give or take. Um, the boys like them smaller, so however size you like your meatballs, just go ahead and round them. Like I said, I don't add eggs, I don't add breadcrumbs or anything like that, just my basic seasonings and um, my sauce is, I'll get around to doing that, but it's ketchup and jelly and then I add some more seasoning to the sauce. I like to put it in the crock pot while I'm cooking the meatballs to go ahead and let the jelly melt down some. But however you want to make your sauce, whatever sauce that you like. Some people do um, the Rotel, some people do barbecue sauce, some do marinara. It doesn't matter. Just whatever you like. But that's how I make my meatballs. Okay, meatballs are done. You can see them. So now I'm going to make the sauce. I put in grape jelly. Um, probably about one fourth to one third of the 30 ounce jar. Um, this one's almost empty, so I'm just going to put the rest of whatever's in it in there. Probably, um, maybe uh, a fourth, no, about a half of a cup, I would say, since I used the rest of the grape jelly. And then I started that together, kind of break up the grape jelly a little bit. Um, might have put a little bit too much ketchup in this one, but that's okay. Or maybe not. And then I like, like I said, I'm a garlic fiend, so garlic and pepper are my two favorites that go in there. A um, little bit of ginger. And I just mix that. And so well. The meatballs are going to cook in the pan after um, I finish grounding the meat. Then 
once they cool a little bit and get some of the added grease off, I'll throw some in the crock pot. The crock pot is going to go in the other room where I have my stuff and that's just going to sit on their own high until all of this is done. That way the grape jelly, if you can see in there, will be melted. Okay, so I got these peppers. They were buy one, get one at, I think, Publix. Um, end of last week or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use them. Um, the tips and things I do not use will go in my little container. This container I will dump at the end of the day into a, or when it's full, into a freezer bag, and then I'll freeze that. I freeze it because... Um, I use it to either make spaghetti sauce or veggie broth, um, depending on what vegetables I have and which ones are good to eat and which ones are not. Once, um, like the end of the zucchini, the end where you get it from the vine, that would go in a different bag versus the other one. Sometimes I just throw it all in, sometimes I separate, um, just so I can have spaghetti and veggie broth already done. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and wash my veggies, and then I'm going to cut them up. Okay, with the pepper seeds, I'm going to throw them in a bag for right now. And hopefully, I can grow some um, soon. I don't know. I've never actually had a green thumb, but I'm trying. This year, my herbs have survived so far, so I'm making progress. Um, and talking about progress, you can see that the meat, although it's cooking on low, it is making progress. So that will be done in a little while. 